Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. What Before is going I on, guys? Agapoka here with another video for you today. And today we're going to be playing some more of the Dream Daddy series. Now, I know it has been a while since I've uploaded the Dream Daddy video, but we're going to go ahead and get right back into it. And we're going to be releasing videos, I believe, as much as I can. Uh, I'm going to try to stick to the... I'm going to try to stick to the every other day uh, schedule that I have for videos, but if I can, I will release videos every day, uh, but it, it all depends. So, yeah, let's get right into the video. All right, who should I talk to? Uh, we had artist good. Let's go see the art for sure. Hugo Damien, back Did I not talk to Matt again? Uh, should I talk to Craig? Should probably talk to Craig. Message Craig. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's tag book page and type out a message. Hey bro. Or should I say neighbor? <laughs> Let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Maybe a little different from our old weekend long vendors. Uh, weekend long vendors. But it'll still be fun. Yeah. I think for a moment. This could be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We we'll exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Okay. Just collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I took a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. Okay. It's mostly dogs, yeah. <laughs> Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? Uh -huh. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball toward me and I just ran off the field crying? And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up? Yes? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were uh, a gigantic sentient softball. <laughs> so does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye. Determined. Uh -huh. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go. Is this a batting cage? Amanda and I make a short drive out to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty packed. We cl uh, clamber. We clamber up the ple uh, bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. He's probably coaching. <laughs> so when do kids start? Crying and running off the field. <laughs> you know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids gonna uh, cry, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. Hmm. For nostalgia purposes, of course, not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Oh, <laughs> definitely not that. The game starts and the kids run onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has river strapped to his chest, as usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks? Oh, man. Choke up on the bat, Miranda. Yeah, Miranda, square up! <laughs> How much you need to know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard, despite their name. Hmm. That's true. But yelling is fun. Give it a shot, it's cathartic. <laughs> These options. Keep your eye on the ball. What's important is that you're having fun. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? <laughs> Leave it all on the field, Miranda. If you want this, you're going to have to bleed for it. Who I assume to be Miranda's father gives me a dirty look. I shoot it back, uh, back at him. That attitude isn't going to bring Miranda to D1. <laughs> oh. Dad, please don't find any other dads while we're out here. We watch a couple of innings of softball. 
they aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his pre uh, team pretty well. Seems like he's really good with kids. Kazakhstan crowd is good with children. Whoa. Yeah. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Aww. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out to center field. A tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. Oof. Ah. See? It's completely justifiable fear. The girl plops down to the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and covering her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think how this was the guy who once backflipped off of a roof into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. The game resumes after the girl calms down for a bit and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The Ocelots seem to have given up on, uh, by this point. I see one outfielder <laughs> eating fistfuls of grass. A batter on the other team uh, knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me. <laughs> oh no, 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 oh no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. I mean, you could like put your hands out. I open my eyes and look over at Amanda holding a softball staring uh, at it in amazement. Huh? I caught the ball. You saved me. Hmm. I caught the ball, Dad. I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything. Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. <laughs> the game ends and Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Good job, everyone. We walk over to the dugout and congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks, we've been working hard all season. It's good to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Hello. Hey, killer playing out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? If I had to guess, it's probably this one. Hazel. Okay, so this one? Hmm. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, the backwards big spell cap should give it away. Hmm. Good looking out. Ah. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing it constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests. I usually throw rocks and stuff when people get mad. I tell them I'm Briar. What? Oh. We will... Talk about this later. Hmm. Here you go, bro. I just got a couple more things to clean up. Then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Hi. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. That sort of celebration. Uh, what sort of celebration could we have without our fearless, our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Mm. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? What? Huh. What? It's a real place. <laughs> Thirsty's Pizza, huh? Oh, yeah, <laughs> they did go. An endless stream of girls uh, clad in soft uh, softball gear pile out of a minivan and into the local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. It reminds me of all the awful pizza we put in our bodies back in the day. Oh. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? That sounds amazing. Yeah. Pizza tacos, <laughs> I could never forget. How do we survive college? Mm. Our bodies were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. 
kids run around playing arcade games and eat increasing food, Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Hey, give me a piece of that. No, absolutely not. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Dad. <laughs> a different mom walked up to us talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Oh, oh I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's better. It's, uh, it's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets a little... Uh, gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheeplessly. I... Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fists up for a fist bump from the mom, and I think is a maneuver to lie in the conversation. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, yeah. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. <laughs> Smoke screen, Martha. I don't know what that means. Free the diversion. Uh. I pull out the fi uh, the first thing that comes to mind. Who watched Long Haul Paranormal I <laughs> Ice Road Ghost Truckers last night? What? Callum and Flint dogbone visited a truck stop that was also a cemetery and let an exorcism of a ghost that was haunting the dog grill, the hot dog grill. I lunge Amanda for support. Whoa. There was also a demon haunting one of the bathroom cells and they kept throwing poop on the wall. Pretty scary stuff. Actually, now that I think about it, there's a good chance there's a non-paranormal explanation for that. But still, quality to have the television. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that either. Wow, we have so much in common. Damn. She turns her back to me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar uh, tonight for the sleepover? Mm -hmm. Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course. But I could always uh, use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow, oh, this lady is really going for the gold. Huh, it's, it'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in River. So thanks for the invite. Oh. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Stephanie, not another arcade machine. Swear. <laughs> I swear, if we have to buy it. Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Oh. Yeah, the team is a big one. It's a one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens. Tiffany, you okay? Oh. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew. I finally have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Nice. Only on days like today, I hope. <laughs> Dad. Oh. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you could totally de that you could destroy him on the dash mat. Please help. Oh. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But Dad. Craig looks at me with like a hurt puppy. Oh. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off toward with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. Definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be the third wheel here. There's more places uh, than an arcade to be left on your own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coin on pinball? You know it. Amanda and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And immediately she gets a multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. Damn, you're pretty good. Ugh. Don't patronize me. Hey, just trying to pay, uh, pay a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights violently. Valiantly. Racking up the points by millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just to be able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college together. Please don't lean on my thing. 
Huh? That's so interesting. So do you know if he's like available? Oh, I honestly don't know if I could say. Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. Because it's just, it seems like so much work after, uh, to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he, lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, the brother sir sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. Hey. <sighs> you stone harpy. What? Uh. He said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that will hurt your feelings. Amanda. Bro. Bro. What's going on? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here, we're stuck with the rest of the, uh, we're stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and get to, um, and say some quick goodbyes with Craig, and we head out of the pizza place. Finally, Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Hmm. Hope you don't mind me uh, me bringing you back here, bro. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you to all to myself for a second. River burps. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Up for some catch? This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball at me and running after it. For sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. I have a cooler in my car that we can grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know uh, anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal keg stand. Horizontal, goddamn. Mm -hmm. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, let's go about the business. So, you run the business now? Hey. Yep, we sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear stone. I nod. I mostly use sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like he'd make a killing. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. <laughs> that is the glamorous lifestyle we are catering to, yes. I can't believe you're a father of three. Oh. Neither can I. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. You switched your razor four times. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. But raising kids, when Briar, when Briar and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I've had the exact same feeling of, uh, when Amanda was born. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me and I would still be proud of the life I've lived. So is the softball coach in the life you wanted or was the life, uh, or was it the life that thrust, that was thrust upon you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll admit, I was hesitant at first. Briar and Hazel had so much energy and we just had to get them into sports, but no one was there to run the team. The more I did, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. I'm worried there'd be a riot if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. They're quick, and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. They take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Exactly. Hmm. It's nice out here. Quiet. It must be good to get away from the softball moms for a bit, huh? Oh, Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Hmm. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. I don't know. I'm just... Not so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Oh. Oh. Peace and quiet. That hot, hot silence. Hey. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. <laughs> oh. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. Oh. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear you. So the moms can hit me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. The kids, those kids love you. 
And to add to the whole team, and to add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you got this thing, uh, this dad thing down, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, bro. Mm -hmm. That means a lot coming from you. While I'm distracted, I missed the softball, and it hits me right on the head. Wow, that hurts. Amanda was right all along. Nice. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Mm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. Oh, no. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. Oh. You would be so lucky. I'm super strong. I do a couple push-ups to <laughs> prove how strong I am. Regular ones, not the modified ones. Those are for quitters and people <laughs> with good knees. I'm a strong dad who is capable of raising children despite the past mishaps with <laughs> projectile objects. Oh. Easy there, Tiger. <laughs> I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Mm. Hey, little buddy. You must be getting tired, huh? Mm -hmm. I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get over and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? Hey. How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall just to get away. But the other side of the fence was the parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk to them for 30 minutes. You told them you were interested in joining the academy. Hey. And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man, college. Mm. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars, Craig pulls me into a hug, or at least as much as we can manage with the baby between us. Hmm. Never enough time, huh? I guess not. Oh. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang tune, yeah? I like that. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Randa hunched over her, col her collage, glue stick in hand. Burning the midnight art oil. Figured I might do some productive, uh, something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter and Lip Sync Battles. Do the sharks lip sync or do the sh shark hunters lip sync? Huh. Yes. I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this art you made. Thanks. But like before, it's still a lot of dogs. One in the corner is a giant pile of cash. In the other, it's Amanda. Is that me? Yep, the whole thing about is about my goals for the future. And those are basically just sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Huh. Oh, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Oh, no. Aw, Dad. You did this with your good art. She pats me on the back. Mm -hmm. Hey, how was your hang with Greg? I wept a tear from my eye. It was good. That great guy is sure is busy. Huh? Yeah, dude. The softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh, yeah? How about tomorrow? We hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking. Ah. Baby steps, Dad. Baby steps. I'll work my way up to it. All right. I'm going to hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let them know you said hey. Awesome. Whoa. Let's fucking go. That was perfect. Hey. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's episode. It was pretty awesome getting to know Greg, catching up with him. Uh, yeah, it's always like that whenever you're talking to a friend you haven't spoken to in a while. Uh, you know, things get busy, things, you know, change, but it's all good. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Remember to check out the Dream Daddy playlist here on the channel if you haven't caught up with the series already. And yeah, till next time guys, I'll see you later. We can run away and leave this world behind